So about like having a, I thought the Twitch channel was saving the VODs for this, but apparently they weren't. So I don't have anything too recent aside from my slippy files. Mm -hmm. It's really kind of rough. I, I'm gonna, I'm trying to find that. Um, there was one set that might, that I know might still be highlighted. If I go to Charlotte Melee. I think it's fine that we go off of that. Um, uh, unless you had some questions to start first as well, I can also just answer those while I'm looking. <clears throat> well, um, yeah, like yeah. maybe you can just give like your introduction for the chat and stuff. Just say like, oh, for sure, yeah. Tag um, like where you're from, how long you've been playing, and like goals for the game. Maybe which character you play to. Okay, I'm Leonis. Um, currently, right now, I am located in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, I currently. I'm going to be honest, uh, I've been playing for about like nine years, but like I took a four year hiatus in between that. I've been okay. back for about a year and a half now. Mm -hmm. uh, I had always kind of had an identity crisis between the space animals, I think mm -hmm. as most space animals probably do. Um, I spent like the first two years that I played the game uh, without a car, so I practiced a lot of tech skill um of which a lot of today at this point is probably meaningless mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's a little bit about me there uh and i've been ever since i've been back um my main goal is actually kind of more to find more of a balance with myself as a player if that makes any sense okay. i do have like goals obviously like competitive wise like sure i can probably be would like one day i feel like i'm smart enough for it or like i can do something you know you do something important mm -hmm. but um right now um i think a lot of people uh, that probably end up watching this pod um from charlotte or even north carolina probably know i'm a very very emotional person <laughs> and uh that really does interfere with my overall gameplay a lot so mm -hmm. um, i'm trying to figure out what i can do in game to kind of balance that out really um that makes sense mm -hmm. okay yeah so um so you said you you have a slippy file that you that we can go over or is it just like a highlight or like i, I gotta see something where i can't really no i go completely off understand that um <laughs> and i know it's not like we're gonna like load up slippy right now because we're on opposite coasts uh you know um i'm trying to find it real quick yeah no worries I, I honestly thought the last VOD was saved because I had had a conversation with the, a couple of the people that run the stream because mm. I used to be an admin in the community, but mm -hmm. I tried to drop that to kind of do more regular melee stuff. Is it like from like a, a local that you go to? Or? Yeah, it's a it's a fairly fairly uh, consistent local um, when okay. campus is on, um, but so. You you like if if you don't have a vod, you know we could always just do this in like a week or two or something like that when you have another vod. <laughs> okay, that that probably would like be I could just add the stream. It's really not a big deal. <laughs> you're just here. You're like, Actually, oh, I'm paying I, I, fifty I, I bucks to like look it. for a vod that doesn't exist. Okay, no. Like, <laughs> no, I, I just found it. This one's a couple months old, but I do oh, want to okay. like I do I do want to I do want to go over this set too because okay. I don't I know I can probably beat this person. And I know I was kind of given the free a few freebies it's fox falco or falco fox rather from my perspective mm -hmm. um i don't think i was playing as technically sound as i could have been at all mm -hmm. uh, that's actually a common trend with me um where i can turn on my brain um but then the tech skill turns off but then when my tech skills on my brain's off ah uh, yeah that does, <laughs> so... that does happen to a lot of people um that should be about accurate um uh, i milk. think we start like the warm-ups right after yeah so like 30 but it's more like 34 like 35 minutes really just go okay. go to that um so i i feel like i start off really strong um i choke a few punishes mm -hmm. um in battlefield and probably could have won that game but i feel like i was losing more often on pokemon when fox had more room mm -hmm. um and i think that's actually a common issue with me in more matchups where the character is faster than falco um it's not as much of an issue with marge but more of Fox, um, sometimes Falcon, I feel like I can get, like, lose control. Mm -hmm. um, but which is weird, because I feel like a lot of people don't 
like Martha's Falco, but I actually kind of like the matchup, and it's like a little bit easier for me to see why, why I'm losing against Marth, to be honest. Ah, uh, right, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I think there's there's honestly plenty of Falcos that like the Marth matchup. It's really like not that bad. It kind of depends like <laughs> how lame the, how lame your local Marth is. <laughs> like if the Marth is just like I don't know, man. Kadoran just literally sits there light shielding, and then he yeah, dashes back to edge, and, and then he'll get off the edge back. with a forward air, and then dash forward light shield. And then go to platform yeah. light shield. And I, then I've back run into edge. a few like, Mars dude, like that. Like... <laughs> like, not that bad yet. Or not at least at that level yet where it's really bothering me. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and but, it's, it's, yeah. it's not like... <laughs> It's definitely like still like beatable and everything. It's just like mm -hmm. more like annoying. There's nothing wrong with liking the Marth matchup with Falco for sure. Um, is the screen share working? Yeah. Um, beliefs. I can see your screen. The X not okay. It's playing now. There you go. Yeah, I just had the video yeah. paused. So okay, yeah. just like a hand warmer. Yeah, like, like I said, it's probably more like thirty-five. Okay, wait, we yeah. did a long ass hand warmer. Holy shit. <laughs> no worries. Okay. Um. Yeah, so, like, would you like me to just sort of go over, like, your general gameplay, or do you want to talk about, like, you were saying that you, like, you said you were, like, very emotional, and then that affects your play, or, like, what, what kind of direction are you so thinking would be the most I, helpful I for really you? I really wanted to kind of go with you more of the emotional aspect, but mm -hmm. the, this bot I don't think helps with that. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of factors that I think were affecting me more are not really a factor here. Like, I had no idea this match actually was originally on stream. Like, let's put that out there, for instance. Mm -hmm. um, I get general anxiety, for the most part. I, I know a lot of people don't believe that, but I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and uh, so adding more things really does affect me. Like, for instance, one of the last few sets that I had had 40 people just screaming behind me. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. And I have no idea why. But mm -hmm. uh, they were having a good time. I ended up having a good time, and it all ended up being fun. But um, I think when i'm like on a setup with just the t two players by myself i'm i'm generally fine in that aspect um so i think just overall between the two of those things just having an overall just status or game plan i guess to go fall back to in any of those situations probably would be best mm, um, and i mm -hmm. just don't know where to start <laughs> okay all right yeah and we can go into like sort of the feeling based part of stuff too like i'm kind of cool with going over whatever but let me just take a look at the gameplay for a second and see mm -hmm. what i see okay like right there i couldn't figure out what he was doing i just saw him just on the platforms which is why i just kind of waited there <laughs> like uh like right like right here. There, like right, right about here, he's on the platforms. It doesn't really feel like he's trying to approach me, and I didn't know if there was something I should have been doing about it. <laughs> yeah, so like basically right, like... right here, mm -hmm. um, right here, right here. When you see okay. him run off this platform, mm -hmm. all you have to do is just roll to the right. Okay. That's just that's just like solves this issue because now you're in this spot. You have lasers. Even if he goes to top plat. Like from this position, you can laser top plat or like cover it or get to side plat and then jump even higher. So it's like basically whenever Fox gets above you on like a platform or he's gonna go for some sort of like falling onto you attack. Um, mm -hmm. If let's say it's like a situation where you like, you hard read his drift, you hard read his fast fall on like his full hop aerial or something, then you might wanna go for like CC shine or shine out of shield. But when he, whenever he's in these spots where like he can drop on you or he can like kind of stall for a second using the platforms or any sort of thing like that. You just want to move out of the way, just like roll. Mm -hmm. um, there's sort of like a general rule in this matchup is don't let Fox fall on you. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I if he, that. if it seems like he's going to fall on you, you can most of the time just roll. And then like, there's a small percentage of the time. Like I usually say like, Fox gets away with nine dumb full hops, and then the tenth one, you kill him. And the so first, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. and as long go ahead. as the first nine you don't get hit by it, then that's massively positive value for you. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you gonna say? Uh, so one of the th I don't know, if this was kind of during that time period. I know it was more like the last couple months, but I definitely did get a lot better at punishing full hop from Fox as opposed to just getting hit by it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that happens uh, as often in the Pokemon game, um, mm -hmm. but I feel like 
I feel like I was doing okay. I don't I don't think I was okay. doing that bad, but of course we're gonna look at the VOD, of course. Well just yeah, just remember the <laughs> main is, again, goal yeah. is basically to not get hit by Fox's vertical attacks, like if he's mm -hmm. falling on you. If you if you play the entire set and you never punish Fox falling on you one time, it's actually okay. <laughs> as long as he doesn't hit you for it. Okay. Um Okay, this is like a thing where basically when you reset to neutral, so mm -hmm. okay, so this laser was fantastic. This is the perfect laser to do based on that spacing. Okay. Um, the problem is is that you're dash dancing afterward. I, I saw that in a video recently of yours too, and I'm still trying to break that habit. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it's basically uh, just the stuff. like. There's no reason not to just take more space with like another laser. Yeah, here. and you can at that. I think literally at that space in like the last lesson you're doing, I kind of lurk a lot. So, like literally the last one you're like talking about, literally that spacing, I could shoot another one and it just. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so it's sort of like establishing like a laser control or like right mm -hmm. here, there need to be like lasers coming out. Okay. It's sort of like um, <clears throat> Fox's tool is the dash dance, and mm -hmm. yours is the laser. So when yeah. when you break, Fox is always gonna dash dance, and you should pretty much always laser. Uh, the dash dance, especially in this matchup, should be like ninety nine percent aggressive. So yeah. like you you land like a laser on them, and you're pretty close, and Fox feels like you're gonna try to hit him, and then you dash dance as like a bait. Falco's you don't you don't you don't really want to be here and be like oh yeah we're both just dash dancing. It's just like kind of worthless because Fox is like four times faster than you yeah and then um okay yeah that's all as uh, like a another <laughs> sort of general rule is to just not approach fox um mm -hmm. there is like a point where you're gonna start approaching fox but it's sort of like a layered system where like the first thing you have to do is be able to never approach fox and then eventually and that'll beat most foxes because they'll jump in uh, and then you'll run into the foxes who never, ever, ever approach. And then you'll sort of camp each other for a while. And then you'll get, like, an attack. Like, Mango always talks about how, like, there's this, like, invisible wall between the spaces. And neither one wants to, like, cross the wall. Mm -hmm. And then eventually, the per like, at high level, you both establish neither one can cross the, cross the barrier to the other side. And then eventually one person has to make some sort of, like, read to, like, cross the barrier. Uh, okay, so the sense. so the initial layer is to like basically just zone fox, so okay. like right here there need to be lasers before this full I, hop yeah, comes out. Yeah, shouldn't even jump there. <laughs> like like that four or four is there. Mm hmm. Yep, there is one of those full up drills. I see what you're saying now with that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely a little chasey. Mm hmm. Yeah. Also, okay, so I also think that, like, this is sort of, like, a personal read, just based on kind of, like, the way you're talking about the game and, like, your play and stuff. I think don't take too much responsibility for your for your play, actually. <laughs> like, I think, I think that you're kind of, like, almost going too far where, like, each mistake, you're like, yep, that's a mistake. Like, man, why can't I do it right, you know? And it's yep. <laughs> it and it and it, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's it's really about like building the patterns up like over time. So like it basically shouldn't be like it should maybe be a little annoying when you see yourself do something dumb, but it shouldn't make you feel like like personally like bad or that like you made like a wrong choice. The pattern in your brain that you built made the wrong choice, you know? Okay. Like uh yeah. So it, just don't don't take too much responsibility for it. Look at it more as like, what is this Falco doing wrong, and then what can I work on, per, like in my gameplay that will eventually make this Falco perform better. Like when you're in tournament, you're you as like a person with like a human soul. You're not actually playing the game. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. who, the one who's playing the game is like the autopilot parts of your brain that you like built in. So I just think don't get too down on yourself for like missing stuff or making bad choices. <laughs> just just focus on like all right, I like what's the road forward from there to like modify it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Boom. Nice. 
nice. I'll take it. Um, all right, this is just like a nice, easy fix. Um, when you when Fox is invincible, you made the right choice. So okay, so normally foxes are spawning like on the top platform and like net play and stuff right. like that. Gotcha. Uh, if they if they do spawn on the side plat like this, this is like a totally good option. Most of the okay. time, I say like what you want to do is you want to be on the outer ish edge of the side platform when people spawn on like the top platform. And then essentially, if they try to jump on you, you can just fall through. And if they okay. try to like uh, go down to the ground and then shark you, then you just full hop or full hop double jump, and they can't okay. really get you up that high. So like when you're up this high like this, let's say Fox did spawn on the side, you went to the top platform, great decision. You just want to like wait a split second and then full hop. By the time you come down with the full hop, he's no longer invincible. Because what you ended up doing here is just as his invincibility ends, you're in this position, and there's no. There's he the didn't do anything yet. to put you into this position. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, we need a laser here. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely. It's it's sort of like a. Basically, a lot of people play the game from kind of like feeling out what their opponent is kind of doing. So if their opponent is kind of like attacking, they'll kind of like defend. Or if their opponent's kind of like waiting for a second, they'll kind of wait for a second. Um, it's basically every time you break in neutral against Fox and like you're on equal, like uh, equal ground, essentially, like vertically, just shoot a laser. Like uh, if you're too close, retreating laser. If you're not too close, laser in place. It's like this. There's just this big chunk of Falco, like probably the one of the most important parts of Falco, which is can I get a laser out in this situation? And essentially, you want to like get good at that as fast as possible by like generating as many experiences in that vein as you can. So every time you break in neutral, just oh, I'm gonna get a laser out, some kind of laser, laser in place, retreating laser, something, um, and. A lot of and that'll sort of start giving you like a much better feeling for like when you can get the laser out because okay. I feel like that what happened on this side is that he's here and you sort of register that this is too close to get a laser out uh, okay. but you can yeah. just jump to here and retreating laser and this is something that you would you would sort of start feeling intuitively if you just grind this situation out a ton okay yeah. Um, the other thing is um, the main opening move and, like, your general perspective on the Fox matchup and pretty much any character who's, like, a fast faller is Shine. Shine is, like, the thing. Uh, I think a lot of people get sort of hung up on Falco's aerials. Mm -hmm. But if your aerial hits... What is, what's the move you're going to use after that, you know? Shine. shine. Like, yeah. people get a nair shine, down air shine, up air shine, up tilt shine. And they're like, yeah, I love my aerials because they lead in the shine. Like, no, 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 you can just get the shine. So, like, the biggest part of, of, like, your neutral against Fox should be you, like, thinking about and preparing to hit and looking for shine opportunities rather than looking for aerial opportunities. Okay. The, the aerials sort of exist in this space like after fox is already avoiding the shine and i don't know there's just like i would say even now like most of the tournament sets that i have like the majority of my neutral openings are shine and not like aerials on fox okay. okay i'll take it yeah, I see this is where I feel not like a great combo, just, but yeah, tournament, that I just choked a lot. It so. happens in tournament a lot. It, it wasn't yeah. that bad. At least you didn't like die out of it. A lot of people yeah. will like overcommit to combos and die in tournament. So better that you just do some damage. Let's see. I'm trying to hunt him again for some reason. Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> so I was just trying to hunt him again for some reason off the spawn platform. Mm hmm. And yeah, essentially part of that whole like defensive game against Fox 
is that like you want to hit Fox for trying to hit you. Like you want right. to counter punch him essentially. You don't really want to like when Fox isn't doing anything and you want to and like there's not really a good reasoning for really like going after him. Like even like something like this dash attack it it kind of worked but like right. He can just dash away here and never, ever, ever get hit by this, ever, ever. Right, it was kind and of so like it's, a lucky read. Yeah, Yeah, and there's just yeah. there's just so many pieces of Falco that are like this, where you can kind of get something sometimes, but he just has to play in like this very specific, solid way, or these mm -hmm. things just like get you killed, like way way more often than they help you he's not like fox can make dumb can do dumb stuff like that because it works more often than it fails but as falco he's slow enough it'll just fail more often unfortunately okay this was like another example of a point to get these lasers out yeah okay so at least you're on the platforms here i like that you're not in the corner um yeah right there that was like laser time okay you got your laser out i think another thing is that people kind of get like I hit my lasers, now I need to make something happen. Um, and so you get like these lasers right here and you immediately try to turn arrow. this into like an attack. Yeah, which and, like, probably you... should have been another laser. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's just sort of like getting used to the maintained like like tension, you know? Like, like you have to be down to be like kind of flirty without going in fully and like asking them out <laughs> like you have to be down to kind of sit for a while like hey i kind of want to fight you fox he's like really and yeah check out these lasers maybe i'm coming in and you don't really mean it like you're kind of just like chilling uh but like basically if there's like a pressure if you start if if when tension happens you immediately like reach for a resolution it's it just becomes like really like predictable essentially like the other player will be able to feel that like out of the tenseness you will attack okay. and it's kind of cool because like everybody sort of has like a tenseness threshold and once you just take a little step back and start like holding the tension a little bit longer with lasers and stuff like that you'll just watch the foxes freak out and throw out dumb stuff at you because they're doing the thing where they're like man this tension keeps rising like why are they so comfortable i better attack you know and then you and then you get them so it's like it's, it's essentially like a battle of like who can be more comfortable yeah okay. kind of see what you were saying too where the sh i think if i'm doing the laser thing i think i just get shine there right uh, if i do in, in which spot the, that same spot that right there right if here I get another laser Definitely. i probably get jump cancel shine there mm, which is mm -hmm. your other point where he's yeah, I didn't have so to you're throw saying, it you're saying aerial. you're saying laser like uh drop laser here? Here, yeah. Not drop laser, but like uh yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Instead no, the of, like, the the, here, the, the approaching there the thing is is the reason okay. it feels so ambiguous is okay. because there's not a thing here. <laughs> gotcha. Like okay. there's nothing to do because like there's no like this is not that's a not winning position here. and it's also not a losing position okay, and like gotcha. so the fox knows this too which is why the fox is not naring into you because they're just gonna hit your shield and get shield drop shine and so like this is this is like a big thing with like the lasers is a lot of times when you hit your when you hit the laser you sort of get like a a little snapshot because they everything freezes for a second you know you're finishing up your laser animation and they just got hit by a laser so they're stuck and there's just like a moment where the game kind of like pauses a little bit when the laser hits and when that happens that is like your reaction point to like like let me see like where is this um where's the laser actually hit boom, boom. okay so this laser hits so this is this is laser one um okay. he gets this really weird power shield and you happen to jump over it this was this was fine i don't really have any problems with this you get this laser so you should like in your head you should have seen like position one fox shielded this laser and then okay position two this like when the laser hits your brain should like create a chunk of like space like okay okay so yeah. now fox is here so from here his options are like up or down i don't really have a way to get him you continue falling with this laser this one misses which is, is fine so now he's here nothing has happened 
This is just like a like a nothing position. It's like if he was here and you were here. So it's like when you hit this laser, you can kind of know that there's not going to be like an advantageous spot out of this. Mostly because Fox can't get you. <laughs> like remember how you want to counter punch him. So if okay. you laser him and there's like a position when the laser hits where Fox has no way to attack you at all then like you don't have to worry about the like no the the battle happening right at that second so like when your laser hits and fox can't hit you you should think okay perfect he can't hit me i'm going to set up for an even better laser you know so okay, yeah. so this is just essentially like it's like a five step process and you did like 1 2 5 and that's the five in is like the down air essentially Um, okay. So this is, this is really good, actually. I'm really, uh, most people do not do, like, late aerials like this. But if you've already decided to do this late aerial, um, uh, honestly, I'm not going to complain about this. You have a bunch of other stuff to, to fix first. I, I was going to say, if you've already decided to late aerial here, you want to nair instead. But honestly, the fact that you already did a late aerial here, and you did the shine wave dash back, which is, like, one of the best options here... You either want you want a 50-50 shine grab and shine wave dash back here, so okay. I'm I honestly can't complain. That's fine. Okay. I I try to read Fox full hop with up air for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> no, the up so the up air on the full hop is really good. I do that. A is lot. it? Yes. I, I mean I hate it sometimes, and sometimes I feel as if it's just lucky. I <laughs> I feel like I get away with it sometimes, but yeah, I don't, I don't and, know that I'm. Well, like. Using it to counter the full hop is good, but you're not, you're you're doing like the skipping the steps thing where like right okay. you're doing the up air in a position where Fox had way more options instead of full hop, so like okay. I I will sort of like wait. It's kind of like the thing where you don't punish Fox for his full hop aerials like landing on you. You just roll, and then like the tenth one is really obvious because you've seen nine already, and then you kill him for it. It's the same thing where, like, you, like, laser, dash, dance, laser, laser, dash, dance, laser, dash, dance. And, like, every time you're lasering Fox, like, a certain spacing, he does the full hop of, like, you know, please laser down air in, you know. And so he does this full hop in place hoping you'll come in and you don't. And you just back off and you laser him more. Then eventually you'll just laser and then up air him out of the full hop because he keeps doing the same option. So it's kind of like you're going to be doing your safe pressure and he's going to be doing his reactions to your safe pressure. And eventually his reactions to your safe pressure will get so predictable that you can go in and like make a gamble like with the up air, but it's like sort of like a legit gamble. Because you, you've gathered enough data to make it like a good uh, bet. Okay, yep. minor minor thing just to help you out mm -hmm. uh in this situation right here just double jab the second jab hits low enough to hit this okay gotcha and it, it, it's like it, it's fast enough that if you double jab and he shortens to edge you can just like roll away and be safe here i think i kind of somehow figured that out because i do actually have a couple like that's not uh, it's not surprising that. if you know that <laughs> I mean, I don't think I knew knew it, but I think like you've of, experienced like, it. I, yeah, yeah. This is just another like good little good little instance of like re. Okay, uh, right. So this is fine pressure right here. This is the laser zone. Yeah, lasers need to be happening. You know, what? actually, um, I have an idea. I have a recent VOD of mine, and I think we might benefit from watching it. Um, 
very local melee. Yeah, give, me, give me one second to get to the point in the VOD. Perfect, actually, because I actually need to turn my fan on. <laughs> okay. It's when I played Tonkatsu at Lawless. I just need to find... Okay, skip through this. I don't know why I haven't found it yet. I'm sure I'll find it soon. Okay, D's Mag Jack. Here it is. Okay. So, not that I think this is like the perfect set or anything, but I do remember, you know, this guy kind of has a style where he'll just sort of like run in and hit you sometimes. Okay. And so this is sort of like a good illustration of like kind of how I play it. I wasn't too worried, so I wasn't going like full on super mode or something, but game starts, lasers. And this is a thing I you might have heard me mention in other lessons that like mm -hmm. ideally, if you can, you don't want to fight Fox until he's at eight percent, which is three lasers. Gotcha. Uh, I, so I say 8 to 10. Like, you want, like, 3 to 4 lasers on Fox before you really fight him. Uh, sometimes they just force their way in early, and that's okay. Uh, but essentially, like, it's, the reasoning is that, like, down air at 0 doesn't really work that well. <laughs> it, it doesn't work Yeah, but down air, still do it. <laughs> down air at 8% is popping off. <laughs> like, he can't do anything. You hit him with a down air at, like, 8 to 10, it's over. You, he, you, the shine is free-free. So that's why I focus on that. Even though I'm looking for the shine as like my primary opening, just having the percent that he has to think about potential down airs is like really helpful. Okay, so I'm just moving around. And then there's there's the shine hunt. So it's like moving around, getting my lasers. I based on my own advice, I would normally roll here, but I just didn't think he would do it, so I was already in short hop. Um, so I'm looking for the shine. You saw this jump shine right here. Come down, kind of looking for laser. Get the shine. Okay. Starting to pressure. And then I, so I sort of fight him a little bit here. And I'm, I was just kind of like messing around. And then it's immediately back to laser with the break. Like lasers, lasers, laser, 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 attack. Like laser opening. Everything is based on the laser. Hey, I did that bad dash attack too. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> This is like, this is the spot where you're going to be using your aerials, which is like when you have a read that Fox will do something. So like, for instance, right here, laser. And then I, I get the idea that he's kind of going to run out of the corner. And that's why I read that with this, with this down air. It's not like a, an approaching, an approaching down air type, type deal. It's more like a counter for Fox approaching. And then this is like in during invincibility, outer edge of the side plat then go big high Got timer it. runs out a lot of times foxes will jump up to try to get me here just as the invincibility runs out and i'll just kill them for it shout outs to west balls <laughs> that is just literally the west Bowls. yeah so notice how i'm in this spot and i'm kind of just like close to fox at a point where i can't really laser and i just like play it really defensively out for a second like this and then i just get out and then it's back to the laser game Laser, 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 laser. Oh, shine opportunity. Big combo. Oop, combo over. That's fine. Laser, 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 laser. Not fighting. See how this is like a position where like there's nothing to get. So I'm okay. just doing nothing. Like, oh, nothing to get here. Okay, I'll keep playing this. I'll keep moving. And then, oh, you're back on the ground. It's laser time. Oh, you're in the corner. I'm going to hit you for coming in. And then it's like, oh, oh, he got me there. Okay. But I mostly want to emphasize like the laser laser sort of like pattern where everything I'm doing is, you know, and yeah, notice that when I notice that when I do the laser yeah. down air, I just got hit. Like I, I just like <laughs> it's just bad and I just die immediately or get hit immediately. You never shoot just one either. It's never just one. Yeah, because shooting <laughs> one is like, um, 
I don't know. It's like you ever played that game like hot hands in school or whatever. I don't know what they call it uh, everywhere. It's like you have your hands on the bottom and you try to slap, like turn your hands over and slap the top of their hands. I never had a name for that, so it probably is called hot. Okay, from, that's fine. I'm originally from New England. I live in North Carolina now, but I don't know what we called it in New England. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know all the different <laughs> names for it, but you, you know the game. And, and like the easiest people to beat in that game. Are you like, all right, ready? And they put their hands beneath you and they go, mm, slap. <laughs> like it's this, this specific timing yeah, that exactly everybody does. About, you yeah. wait like a uh, slap. And so like <laughs> everyone in Melee subconsciously also is like working off that timing. And you know, the people that are hardest to beat in that game, they just sit there. They just stare you down <laughs> like 20 seconds. 30 seconds you're like dude recess is almost over like no no i'm good and slap and then you know that's what you want <laughs> that's like the sort of feeling you want to keep in your brain of like you don't want to just go in immediately like one laser into attack is the dude who's mm, slap so like multiple lasers creates a situation where there's like a bigger mix-up for the person to deal with and then a lot of times like you're moving around with lasers and so okay so this is like what i try to tell people with like falco versus fox is essentially like when you're playing the game you're getting your lasers on them every time a laser hits you get to make a decision and the reason why it's so op is that every time the laser hits you're at a frame advantage so you get to act first and so every time a laser hits fox also recognizes the situation I have been hit by a laser at this spacing. Uh, the problem is, is that you're already acting first. So Fox gets hit with a laser at some spacing. First of all, has to input a precise input of like dashing or shielding or something to avoid getting immediately just hit after the laser. Some foxes have an issue where they kind of, they just, eh, and they just kind of get stuck after the laser. They need to avoid that. So they need to act immediately and they need to also act under the under the knowledge that you're acting first so like all your stuff will be quicker so it's kind of this weird situation for the fox already and that's already if they know which laser situations they're getting into uh right. so all in a lot of spots the exact range that they get lasered at is not actually reactable uh given like they are moving and you're moving so when the laser hits, it's not going to be at a range that anyone, like, necessarily expects every time. Um, and so the lines between exactly which situation is which get a little blurry. But remember that you are at the advantage in said blurry situations. And so if you move around lasering for a long, for a long enough time and Fox moves around dash dancing for a long enough time, eventually you're just gonna kinda catch him with a laser where either he's like, oh, I finally got hit with a laser close enough to attack Falco and then he attacks you and he was wrong and he was too far away and he gets hit. Or maybe it's such an obvious attack range that you stuff him with a down air or a shine as he runs at you to try to hit you. Or maybe like, he just gets hit with a laser right in his face, and then you're gonna like laser up tilt or laser shine or laser grab or something like that. So it's sort of like the more lasers you shoot, the more complexity you're introducing to the game that the fox has to deal with. And also every laser is just like a chance that he'll that he'll get hit in a bad range, which is like super favorable for Falco. Um, let me see if I can find another laser situation. So I'm gonna reset lasers. I'm, I'm trying to find a spot where like the lasers are really contributing to like um, things getting like moved around. Hmm. Maybe okay. Let's just check the next game and see if it happens here. Okay, actually, if we could find something on the stage, that'd be great because I actually don't like the stage at all. <laughs> really? Uh, I actually literally even. Do you dislike like Yoshi's a... also? No, I, I love what? it. I just don't like the freaking moving platforms. I, I mean, know. nobody really <laughs> likes the moving platforms except for Fox players. But Falco still does really well here. Yeah. Um, I mean, like even even against like Marth, I like in a two out of three, I strike this stage. Like I go to F D 
be my second game if I win first game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I prefer that stage over at Fountain of Dreams. <laughs> Which is, I don't know if that's weird at all, but... Um... So... Okay, so... I actually think that, like, based on the stuff that I want to show, because you were talking about Fox having more space and stuff like that, I would rather go over this this FD game. Um, okay. But I can talk about Fountain a tiny bit. The number okay. one thing on Fountain, and I think based on, like, the play I was watching earlier, this might be your, your issue, the only thing that matters on Fountain is center stage, and because the stage is so small. And the, the like, logical, like, the next step of reasoning on that is the real only thing that matters is the top platform. Because the top platform is low enough such that, like, you can just drop from the top platform. Or, like, let's say you do, like, short hop and then fast fall through the... so much sense. If you I short hop and fast... Like so, like, if, if Fox is in the center and you're in the corner and you full hop to top platform, Fox is now directly underneath you in the center. And so when you drop down off the top plat, what's Fox going to do? He's going to go to the side. And now he's in the corner. <laughs> okay. That's like that's like the main rule of Fountain, and it's why a lot of people are bad at the stage. <laughs> that, act, that actually, the way you just explained it, though, just makes so much sense, though. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, that's pretty much it. It's because, like, the, the side platforms on Yoshi's are really big and, like, long and, like, far off to the side. And so, like, they kind of let people cheat the top platform is center type deal. Um, but then Fountain, like, the platforms are really skinny and tiny, and the stage is still small, and so the top platform is, like, even more supreme than on Yoshi's. But on Yoshi's, it's also a very big deal. You just, it's easier to ignore it on Yoshi's. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, wow, I just downered in. I don't respect Curve. (laughs) I'm hoping that there's gonna be, like, a good, like, laser stock in here, where I'm just sort of, like, lasering... Oh, it's because this is Grand Finals. I'm looking for Winner's Finals. By the time it gets to Grand, I'm just like... Oh, Casper and Winner's Finals. Okay, that might work. Okay. Yeah, and even this is like a decent example of it. But, okay. So it's like lasering. Notice that that looks surprisingly similar to that situation against Tonkatsu. Even though like, I approached there. Uh, it's essentially like you you just want to make sure that you don't attack in these situations that are stalemate. I thought he was going to attack me here. It was a really bad decision. Um, okay. But I like that shine where it's kind of like... Basically, you just the more lasers you can layer on, the more likely they're going to do something dumb and get shined. And if you can control yourself... like. When you watch my VOD, it's not like I'm just, like, the perfect self-controlled monk. Like, I am making bad attacking decisions here and there. But the reason why I'm still winning is because, like, when push comes to shove, I'm still getting, like, these laser control situations, essentially. Um, apparently this game, I just don't get any good ones. Kind of annoying. Like, pretty sure I played kind of campy this tournament. <laughs> um... All right, I'll give it 10 more seconds, and we'll just go back to your VOD if I can't find another another good example. Okay, that's actually a perfect example. Great. Um, so, like, notice this situation. Feels, like, very, like, combative right here. Uh, it's very tempting to want to fight this out and maybe, like, wall back airs here or something. But it's like, nah, it's okay to kind of dip. A lot of times foxes go for sort of an attack off the side plat. You don't need to punish it. What You can, like... Like, Falco kind of has this auto advantage in neutral. So instead of punishing their aerial, you can, like, quote, punish it by just getting a laser out and then having this big advantage. That makes sense. I also fall for that short hop off the platform with an aerial all the time, unfortunately, because I try to challenge it. (laughs) Yeah, even when you don't try to challenge it, you're still definitely going to get hit by it. Uh, Like, it still hits me all the time. But, like, when when your general goal is to, like, avoid um, them being able to do it and, like, just hit you hit you with it. Like, like as long as you just avoid it and go for the lasers, the overall, like, your risk-reward is going to be solid. Hmm. 
Okay, I can't really find any other good examples, I guess. It's probably, oh, lasering. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so this was, this, okay, so this is last example. And this is like a more aggressive situation rather than the campy one. Uh, and this is sort of like the layer that I'm saying you'll get to after you can protect yourself with lasers. Is like protecting, protecting, protecting. I get these lasers and then I'm like, well, I got three. And I make this read because like, it, if this is basically from my perspective, I'm like, okay, I just landed three lasers and now I'm coming in. Fox is thinking that I'm like, Laser, laser, laser? Wow, I'm just beating him up. I'm gonna come in and beat him up. But then instead I go for like a positional read here and then I get the laser shine. And then he might actually just freaking die out of it. This is crazy. Nope. Okay. Close, though. <laughs> <laughs> I get the idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So back to this VOD, and I hope that was somewhat help. I was really hoping I could get a couple better examples, but at least you noticed that I almost never just shoot one laser. <laughs> um. I've been grinding that out. I have been bad about hitting tech in place, actually, which is kind of bad. <laughs> it's okay. But up till Shine was really good if he had just a couple more percent. I, I think that was an overall good decision. Hmm. Why are you getting beat up so hard in the corner here? Hmm. Just missed the shield drop laser. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, the famed stadium game. <laughs> okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> No, it's, it's just more of the idea that, like, you need to make something happen. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, okay. The mentality that, like, every laser should be used to create something is actually really good against Marth. <laughs> so it actually kind of explains why you like the Marth matchup. Is that, okay, like, gotcha. in the Marth <laughs> matchup, you laser them, and you're like, now that I've locked you down with my laser time to die you know that's and so that's kind of the mentality you're carrying into this matchup and in this matchup the lasers are almost strictly to keep fox away they're not to pin fox down because he's too quick okay. but but by learning that don't unlearn it in the marth matchup because no, no, like, no, no, i got you I yeah got you. <laughs> like making the lasers happen in the marth matchup is really really good Another thing that kind of helps me in this matchup is not trying to feel like a spacey. Uh, Falco feels like a spacey against the rest of a cast, but against yeah. Fox, he's a lot closer to, like, how Marth would think about fighting Fox or how Sheik would think about fighting Fox. Okay. It's a lot of, like, like, when you're Marth... I don't know, like, when you're Marth and you're fighting Fox, I don't know, or Sheik or something, Fox kind of, like, hits you or he moves around, and the way you beat Fox with those characters is kind of, like... You see an obvious nair spot, and then you, like, mm -hmm. go for, like, a shield grab or something in the obvious nair spot. Uh, like, oh, Fox is definitely going to nair here, so I'll dash back and then grab it if they're stupid and you get the punish. This matchup is, like, a lot closer to, like, that in terms of how you think about it from the Falco end, where you kind of want to, like, find obvious things that Fox might do and prepare yourself to hard punish those. And then if he does something else, just continue keeping yourself safe. That, that makes sense because I actually do like play that way when I because I play Marth when I'm not feeling too hot. Mm -hmm. Um, just because it's I I get the character and it's it's fun when I'm you know it's it's because he's a fun character. Mm -hmm. So when I'm not feeling too hot but want to play melee, I play Marth, and I do do that. And I just don't know why I haven't pushed that over Falco yet actually. A lot of times the reason is because he feels like a Spacey. <laughs> and he feels yeah, like a Spacey right, in actually. every other <laughs> matchup except for this one where he's very clearly like, nope, Fox is the Spacey. Like, he gets it. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's kind of like the way you would think about getting a grab as Marth is exactly 
well, you know, slightly different spacings and stuff, right? But the mentality for it is exactly how you think of getting the shine with Falco. Like, Fox can kind of do his stuff, I'm kind of going to slip around, and instead of the dash dance with Marth, you're using the lasers, but it's the same concept. You know, like, if you're playing Marth and you just dash in every time, or do one dash dance and dash in, Fox will eat you for breakfast. Yeah, you beat Fox I... by dash dancing in the corner for five seconds, a.k.a. lasering in the corner for five seconds, then Fox does the dumb gotcha. air in, and as uh, as Marth, you would do, like, stupid moth. There's a moth flying around. <laughs> I grabbed it in my hand, I was like, got him. And then it flew out, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, but, like, um, yeah, the same way Marth dashed in the corner for five seconds, then Fox does a bad air in. Falco, you laser in the corner for five seconds, Fox does a bad air in. Instead of Marth, you get the grab. Falco, you get the like laser shine or something like that. Okay, that makes a lot of sense when you put it that way. Okay, awesome. So, yeah. This is a minor note. Um, Falco can reaction tech chase shine Fox on the side plat here with yeah. from the ground. So there's no reason to jump up to the side plat here. Okay. Unless you were going to do, like, an instant Waveland up tilt read or something. But even then, I feel like it's not quite as good as the Reaction Tech Chase. I think as of lately, I've just kind of gone up there just to shine. But I still see how, like, just... Waveland well, that's what you should do on yeah. on the higher platform stages. Yeah. yeah. I just need to be more aware that I'm on this stage, which is kind mm -hmm. of weird to say out loud, but... It's because it's it's like... on this stage, <laughs> like, short hop, shine hits the platform. That's all it is. Okay. So you can just short hop, shine I on... Should, like... I should practice that. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even need to do the short hop. Like, you can do the full hop shine on reaction, but it's basically just that it's really easy to reaction tech chase it. My brain saying short hop's less committal, though, for some reason. Hopefully that's right. Short hop what? <laughs> is, like, less committal. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, because, yeah, yeah. like, you're going to reaction tech chase and then wave land to the platform anyway. <laughs> right. But it's but just, I'm, like... I'm, I'm My brain, because, again, I'm, like, not very consistent. I'm thinking for if I fuck up. <laughs> I'm mm. Full hop, probably not the better choice. I should practice just to short hop. Mm. I don't know. That, I don't know if that's a good mentality or not. I really don't. I'm just kind of sharing that, that that's my thought process, because, mm -hmm. again, yeah. So, a big lesson in this game is that, like, everything is useful and then can be bad. Like, all sorts of mentalities can be useful or bad. And mm -hmm. you, you're never going to be completely right about, like, what is useful and, like, how far to push it is bad. And so I sort of advocate for kind of like a don't think about things too, too hard. Like it's, it's, it's like until you really feel it, like uh, to explain it clear, like, um, for example, earlier you were talking about how like you can either be smart or have tech skill, right? And so like there, what I would do is maybe like, I'll have a period where I'm trying to go really fast and I just sort of throw the brain thing out the, out of the window, you know? And then, so I reach this point where I'm like, all right, I'm full speed, zero brain Falco. Been doing this for a little bit. And then you're like, okay, now we'll step it back just a teensy bit. So I'm like 95% tech skill and 5% brain. And what'll happen as you start to like work on the brain stuff you're like, okay, more brain, less tech skill, more brain, less tech skill. And you eventually get to this other point where you're like, okay, now I'm smart again, but I got rid of all my speed. Yeah. <laughs> and so what you do yeah. when you reach that point is you go, okay, so I'm going to do 95% brain, 5% tech skill. And you start moving back towards the other way. And it's kind of this like zigzag pattern, but it is, but you are going to be like slowly getting better as you do that. Okay. And it's so sort of more of like a longer turn term my brain process. Off. Hmm? <laughs> so what you're saying is intentionally turn my brain off. Yeah, what I'm saying is <laughs> I'm like... I'm I'm yeah, I get it. <laughs> what I'm get saying it. is like, for instance, on those things of like, um, doing things, like you said, like where you want to, what's less committal if you kind of mess up or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with mentalities like that. 
because there's a certain point where like the guy trying to do the four frame perfect inputs in a row is just dumb because they should do something more practical and so in, rather than like worrying about every little thing i just will kind of go with like my intuition on something on whether i think it is uh like too hard or too committal or maybe i should do a more practical option or not and then eventually when you keep doing it you'll kind of realize at some point that you're pretty imbalanced in one direction and you need to like go back it's a like the thing i'm trying to say is there's gonna be a lot of waste in learning yeah okay and you gotcha. don't want to try to have like this waste free learning approach because it slows you down you kind of want to just charge forward and learn and then go back the other way when you when you inevitably okay. end up in so, balance okay. that's a that's yeah. a better reduction of what i'm saying it's like it's like adding salt <laughs> well the reverse of adding salt to food i guess <laughs> well, you dump you dump it all in yeah that's it that's like, really funny that. it is exactly yeah. like that yeah you <laughs> dump it all in reversed. and then you take it all out you put it all in <laughs> and then you know eventually you figure it out yeah <laughs> that's the it's the exact it's the reverse of salt gotcha that's really funny <laughs> yeah because it's kind of like a brain stretching thing you just want to like you want to see how far you can reach your brain in each individual direction and the middle ground is going to be the tough part but if you focus on the middle ground you never explore far enough on either side okay that makes sense yeah see how you're kind of in like the aerial zone right now like yeah. you just did like four or five aerial when you get the shine look what happens <laughs> you know you get a big combo so the shine is the shine is the thing to keep in mind that like yeah you want the shine the lasers set up for the shine and that's kind of like the the whole direction of it all i don't know why dash attacks there you tried to, <laughs> you, it looked like you tried to low angled forward tilt maybe i do that sometimes it's something that i i, I need to do more often intentionally <laughs> mm -hmm. like more i don't want to say i think intentionally is a bad word more consciously mm -hmm. i think is a better word um but Hmm. Sick. I love roll shine. <laughs> love when it works. Nice. A somewhat general rule of thumb is to side B when Fox is on stage and up B when Fox is on ledge. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly just because, like, it's not exactly like that. You want to side B almost every time. To be honest, the up B is kind of bad. But if Fox is on stage, the up B is even worse because he can just full hop out and shine you. You got to yeah. watch out for that. This game gets a little weird. I think that's both. fine. I don't know why I was. I, I guess it worked. No, it's so. okay. I'm I'm just um, like in thought. I'm just thinking right now. I'm not super super watching this. I'm trying to think of like what I want to give you as like the road forward or try to make that extra clear after the lesson. Um. Hmm. Because there's... So... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How much do you feel like you've been improving lately? And what? And if so, if you have been improving, what type of improvements? Or in general, how does it feel? It doesn't need to be the perfect description. Um, Let me close chat because I already said that I was not playing too hot this day, but um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but what I think I've been improving on, um, I want to say I've been a little bit more patient in neutral um, mm -hmm. just because I know 
that that's kind of like I, I I already knew going into this, and I knew that like, I'm I'm a chaser. I I get that. I get that when I play the game. I pr- I like I like to try and hit the player. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's a very known thing about me anyway. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to slow that down. Well, yeah, I, uh, I have been seeing a lot of improvement in it. The Falcons in my area have noted that and are mad <laughs> at me for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so so uh, I feel like that's a win. Um, mm-hmm. I'm. Like way better at it versus Marth too. I don't jump in the corner versus Marth nearly as often as I used to. That's uh, good. I'm still kind of like I feel like I liked that I was a little more aggressive though versus Puff. Mm, I mm-hmm. think I sometimes I hang back too much versus Puff and she gets control. A lot. Yeah, I know what you're saying. But I think overall I I'm getting a better grasp of kind of like the pacing I should be at in neutral, but. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't, I like I know, I said I've been like inconsistent with like tech skill, but I'm trying to work on that more because I know mm-hmm. I spent a lot of time before getting nowhere with tech skill, and I kind of want to go back and focus on the uh, like what we've been doing here, um, the neutral like overall pacing and neutral what I should be doing before yeah. I go back and fix the tech skill. So, okay, so I'm kind of gonna give you just generally like all my thoughts <laughs> from this huh so man there's there's like a bunch here i think that like so i want you to try out the laser stuff mm-hmm. uh i i think like i don't know i almost like don't get a falco vibe from your falco <laughs> like uh, yeah uh so i play Oh, okay. I fo- movement is my favorite aspect in every single video game. Mm-hmm. I have learned to move with every character in this game. I I can if I want to. Mm-hmm. And when I'm playing really well, like it's it almost looks like I play that character. Mm-hmm. But I like Falco mm-hmm. more often. Like more often, I feel like I'm playing my I, my best personal self when I play Falco. Mm-hmm. Um, as of lately, my characters have, that I've been playing on the side uh would be fox marth and peach <laughs> mm-hmm. um okay but it's i guess not nearly as much yeah as okay Falco. here's here's what yeah. I'm, here's what i'm thinking is that basically based on the way that your brain is working in these games that i have watched and from talking to you it's it feels like you might not be like like um your the joy you're getting from falco from playing him is not like the optimal joy to be getting to improve quickly at Falco. <laughs> <laughs> if I if, if that's the best way to say it. So I think like try out this like laser zoning and like hunting for shine and kind of playing the matchup as more of like a Marth type of feeling from the Falco end. And okay. I kind of want to want you to let me know like if you find that fun because <laughs> like it almost feels like <laughs> well, I'm I watching I... and I'm yeah. like would they even find that fun to like play like well, that's the zoning I, that's game why I play Mar- that's why i was like mad at myself like why didn't i think of that before because like i that's how i play against fox mm-hmm. that's how i play against falcon even when i play marth like mm-hmm. that's essentially what i do but like i just never do it with falco i don't know what the issue is mm-hmm. <laughs> okay yeah so i think like uh if you if you can enjoy like marth and stuff definitely i want you to like adjust your perspective of falco a little bit to be a little bit like less of like a spacey uh, in okay. in your in like the view of how you're playing, like kind of in general, like I, you eventually if this is kind of that whole thing where you can swing back around. You can swing back around to the spacey part later, but there's this very like kind of like call and response part of Falco where like you have to do the right option in certain spots and you have to be very comfortable being able to like maintain correct options and not approach because he's like a rather slow character in certain spots and it's it's a lot like he's a lot more limited than looks like you're kind of thinking he is especially in this matchup mm-hmm. in terms of like the way he can like reach out for stuff and stuff like that and even like the edge guards it feels like you're kind of edge guarding in like a much more like intuitive way like you would if you were playing fox um and you're kind of like oh I'll kind of like stand here and then it looks like they're gonna side b and then i can kind of like bait out the side b that's not how falco edge guards <laughs> falco edge guards with like these very specific like laser positions and like 
it should feel like you're executing this like interesting uh, like system or like tree branch type like mechanical thing that like ends with the death of your opponent. Um, and so I was just noticing that like on the edge guards and like on the approaches, you're just playing the character like a little messy in general. Like he, he needs to be played a little bit more like specifically and like a little like nerdier essentially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that like playing a bunch of characters like you're doing is actually like really good. Uh, I think that'll like give you pers- and it's probably like probably another reason why you're decent against Marth is because like you've played Marth, so you kind of know how he works, and a lot of spaces don't. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my main thing. Forward practice like the zoning, and practice playing Falco like a little bit more systematically and like a a lot more patiently. And let me know kind of, like, how that works or how that, that feels. And then we can kind of go from there. Okay. Mm. Let me think see if I have anything else. Um, yeah, I think, like... Um, right now, I definitely... Because your tech skill is, like, a bit of an issue. But... The tech skill is kind of like, uh, the issues with the tech skill are manifesting in wrong ways because you're sort of like choosing wrong like moves and stuff. And so yeah. what I want you to do right now is go for the super smart, super zony type of play with the lasers. And what will happen is while you're doing that, you'll kind of get clipped and you'll get hit out of it and bad things will happen. And then that will sort of give you like a good direction of oh, I need to improve this one element of my tech skill because while I'm laser camping, I keep getting hit because I'm too slow on X or I mess up Y. Mm-mm. Okay, any any questions or thoughts on stuff? To close it out. If you don't have anything right now, you can. it's fine. You can shoot me thoughts or questions like later on Discord. Mm-hmm. Um... No, I think you're 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 an interesting player. <laughs> I'm I'm I, it's interesting to me like uh where where you should go from here and stuff like that. That's why I kind of yeah. like been rambling a little bit about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I I will take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 not it's not like a negative thing at all. It's just sort of like a lot of times players fall into like there's a lot of players who fall into like categories of like the quickest way to improve from here is this. Uh you have you have like a suspiciously balanced set of stats <laughs> and I so don't like, know how that happened because I, I i thought i was very imbalanced the entire time yeah so it's like, just at <laughs> least from this <laughs> video but they're so. they're imbalanced in or sorry they they they're balanced in a way that like implies that there's something with like your mindset or like um like your view towards the game or in this case in particular like the character you're playing because i don't have i don't have videos of you playing other characters right. um that makes sense but it's like it, it doesn't feel like you had this one idea of for sure how to win and you've ground that out and now you're super imbalanced because like some people are missing combos or some people are missing neutral it feels like your rate of like your rate of edge guards and your rate of combos and your rate of hitting tech skill and your rate of playing like neutral correctly are all really similar and so you should kind of just pick a direction for instance like right now like the zoning and camping with the lasers and just push that like as far as you possibly can to get like one stat way past the others and then that'll hopefully help you like you know kind of move past where you are okay all right i feel good now i feel like i I got out (laughs) what i was feeling about i was like no i gotta i gotta go until i until i fully explained how i'm feeling about this (laughs) But, I actually uh, appreciate that, so I don't even worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I hope that this helps, and let me know how things are going and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, no, hope- I, I will definitely be requesting a follow up uh, lesson. Hopefully, it won't take half a year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> I, I'm back. I'm doing lessons again. <laughs> yeah. I. Hey, I got to you eventually. That's no, <laughs> no, you did. No, I'm glad you did. I know. I'm sorry for taking so long with that. Definitely, there's, there's no <laughs> way it's gonna take six okay. months next time. I know you're just messing with me, but still. No, I know. I know. I know you have a life. Trust me. I'm the same way. I've been putting off hosting a fest for like two months. Yeah, a lot of times my life is just like. 
not feeling so. it. <laughs> like, I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will talk right. to you later. Uh, let me know how things um, go. Oh yeah, just, uh, I don't think you sent me the Venmo stuff. Yeah, right? I'll send you the Venmo uh, stuff okay. in a DM, like, right now. Okay, cool. All Sounds right, good. peace. All right, see ya.